Good afternoon from Bahirdar Airport. I'm currently about to get on a plane, a local flight. Uh, it's my first time taking a local flight in Ethiopia. We actually got to Bahirdar by taking a bus, but this is what the airport looks like. It's a very uh, small, local, domestic airport, uh, as you can see. Nothing else. There's only like one check-in counter. And then yeah, it's like the security here right before you get to the gate. So I'm headed back to Addis Ababa and then we're out of Ethiopia after a few days. But it's been a great trip so far. Um, still got a few days in Addis. So we're gonna make the best of it. But I wanted to show you guys what the local flight looks like. Uh, I've also, like I said, never taken myself. So I'm kind of curious and then I'll show you guys as well. So we got to go through the security line as you can see. And then we shall be headed into the plane and I'll show you guys what the plane looks like. Um, it's a more local, uh, smaller plane, I think, because, you know, the flight is like a one-hour flight from here to Bahidar. The flight actually cost me about $60, $62 USD, so not too bad. But, yeah, guys, headed out of here, Bahidar Airport, headed to Bole. All right, guys, so we're about to head outside, get into the plane now. I think we're taking this small plane. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's crazy over here. A bunch of planes landing. I think... Um, there's a flight school here as well in Bahidar, so they train pilots as well. But interesting plane. I've never taken one of those. Looks like an older, older Boeing or something. I don't know, but I'm about to get on soon, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But this is the waiting area in Bahidar Airport. All right, guys. Here's the airplane that we're taking. Looks like a small little jet. I don't think I've ever taken one of these before. Very interesting. It's an old Q400 Bombardier. Converted into a commercial Ethiopian jet. See all these smaller planes here. You can see people, uh, it's actually flight training. Ethiopian Airlines has their own program where they train pilots that eventually end up working for their company But it's really cool, but a very small runway guys such a small airport one of the smallest airports I've ever been to we're gonna get on the airplane now and I'll show you guys what the uh, Airplane looks like from the inside It's one of those planes that has like the propeller jets exposed propeller jets Yeah, so we're on the plane now. It's actually the smallest plane I think I've ever been on. It's like a tiny little jet. I would like to feel like uh, flying a private jet, but it's definitely not private, but super, super tiny. We only got two rows on each side. Throughout my travels, I think this is definitely the smallest plane I've been on. I'll show you guys the seat once I get there. But it's a bit tight. Sitting 20L. <laughs> Sorry. So, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Guys, I just tried to put my luggage in the overhead and it's not fitting. So I think I'm gonna have to check it in. And uh, so now I'm just waiting. You can't see it, huh? You can't see it until you set it. Yeah, I have to. I have to. Uh, is it your seat? This is my seat. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting next to you. <laughs> yeah, guys. So it's the first time uh, the overhead luggage has been so small that I can't actually get my bag in there. Uh, I thought I would be able to fit it, but it's not. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that's the flight here. This is the local plane, as you guys can see. It's not a huge plane but it's comfortable. It's only a one hour flight. So um, they were able to check my bags in right here at the plane. They didn't charge me anything for it. So we are off now to Addis Ababa. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what a local flight here in Ethiopia looks like. Cause this is actually my first time taking a local flight. So we are on our way. Remember guys, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.